we've definitely been looking forward to this game all year. I mean, obviously, it's kind of a rematch of last year. We lost to them in the championship game. Also, it's senior night. We have two great seniors. Um, we're going to um, represent them tonight and try to get this one for them. Also, it's Think Pink Day, and um, it's our TV game. So it's a huge game, and we're all looking forward to it. I think we need to be prepared and know that they're going to give us our, their best effort. Um, it's going to be a high-intensity game. Both times we played them last year, they are both very close games. So we seem to be ready for them to come out right from the beginning. The last time Sacred Heart and St. Francis shared the same court, the Pioneers captured the NEC Championship and a trip to the big dance. Coming up next, these conference foes meet again, with Sacred Heart trying to gain momentum heading into the postseason. And the Red Flash are looking to secure a playoff berth. Here in the ball game, five to two, the Pioneers on top. There is Maggie Cosgrove for three. And a nice defensive play by Apple. Up and down we go. And finally, somebody finishes a play. Kylie Evans has seven. Lily, the dribble drive across the lane, kicks it over to Samantha Leach, who knocks down the three. Chop gives it up for Marion. Here is Taylor on the turnaround. Taylor is so strong. She had a great summer. Apple makes something out of nothing. Well, has the ability to use either hand off the bounce. She has her head up. Nobody stopped the basketball. If you don't stop the basketball, Lisa Apple is going to the hole. Hodges feeds Smith. Well, Hodges has come ready to play. The senior has really stepped up. She's made a, some added balance for the red flash. Samantha Leach decides on the pull-up. She's got herself seven. Lily, fighting for her own rebound, is able to save the possession. Leach for three. Well, that's a great one. That's part of the red flash attack. They call it find the open window. That Try to uh, be nice about it. More like agitated was Ed Swanson. How about that one? That'll get him ticked off. Brittany Hodges for three. On a 16-point run. Callan Taylor. Smith played six games as a freshman at Niagara. Nice pump fake the bucket and the foul for Kylie Evans. She has nine and will go to the line. Blow the steal by Allison Daly. Well, and the other senior, Janie Killian, good size, the ability to block that shot. And the short J by Samantha Leach. She has 12. Ball. Cosgrove. Killian came out to try to swat it away, but instead Cosgrove sticks her second three of the game. She's got six. Lily for Killian. Back to Lilly. That's a three. Well, that's good discipline from the senior. Janie Killian had a shot, but you're open for a reason. That Hodges working off the pick from Killian. Well, what a great matchup. Hodges with Apo on her, two of the best guards in the league. That time, excellent use of the screen. Coach Robinson Fruttles said she makes it look easy. She's really come to play today, been timely on the boards. Apple misfires from three, and Taylor cleans it up. She has 16. She was specific about all the little details. Yes, she was. She was a very good coach. And, uh, Brittany Hodges lays it in. Go ahead, Jack. So I think it'll help a little bit, but not too much. I'm hoping to make it up for it, though. That, that'll be great. I'm so happy it's finally here. Bottom line is you got to play well, because yeah, if you don't thing. play well, it doesn't matter where the game is. Exactly. Well, Brittany Hodges playing well right here. She just goes down the court and drops it in. She's got 23. Now, be an analyst here, Beth. What, what do you see when you see Brittany Hodges? Uh, I see a, a great talent. She um, uses her speed a lot. And, uh, points. Well, 17 fouls on the red flash, by the way. Well, there's the extended pressure, but when you have the one person press break with Brittany Hodges, she just shreds the press. Easy basket. Leach has 16, but a good answer by Alexis Campbell. And none after the break. Leaves it for Taylor. Has to hurry and does. Again, she doesn't catch it clean. Callan Taylor, good look by Apo. She recognized the double team. But Taylor, good presence to stay with the play. First foul and the team's fifth before that basket. Kylie Evans works hard. She has 18. Well, they see something they like with Evans with the Lily matchup right now. They feel that Evans has the ability to score inside. It's an eight-point ball game. Smith, that's only a two, but she's got herself nine. Taylor from outside, can hit it and does. Absolutely can hit it, very comfortable out there. Nice step back that time by Callan Taylor, but the red flash really picked it up in the second half. 
Good look down low as Lilly found Shanae Fleming. Pioneer basketball. Here's Apple right to the basket. Well, there's him. Apple has to hurry for Taylor for three. I've seen that from her in the previous telecast. And that'll do it. The St. Francis Red Flash have clinched a berth in the NEC tournament. They knock off the Sacred Heart Pioneers 75 to 69. Brittany Hodges had 25. What a ball game. Back here in Loretto, St. Francis beat Sacred Heart 75 to 69 in this women's game. The Red Flash clinch a bit in the NEC women's tournament. We are joined by our player of the game, Brittany Hodges. Congratulations, 25 points, 17 coming in the second half. You just was, you were not going to let this team lose tonight. That, that, that's as simple as that. No, no, sir. Um, I try to give it my all every game, and I think I, I'm a spark on, on the floor, so I'm kind of contagious, so I try to keep it that way. Brittany, great job today, and again, you clinched the playoff berth, so congratulations. It's a senior day to remember. Talk to me about the two-player game. Coach put the basketball in your hands. What does that mean to you to have that confidence and have that ability to be a game changer? Um, she just trusts me to attack and read the defense, and that's what I kind of did. I mean, white is a hard offense to kind of play, so I have options. <laughs> well, that's Brittany Hodges, you are a player of the game. Congratulations. Best of luck in the tournament. Thank you, sir. They had a chance to sit down with one of the Red Flash stars. Happens to be their third leading scorer, Allison Daly. Well, as we said, uh, Allison Daly joins us from the St. Francis Red Flash. Uh, think pink day here uh, at St. Francis, and uh, in addition to the attire, which looks very good. Allison, the, the whole purpose of this is to raise awareness about breast cancer. Absolutely. And one of the things that you were telling me before is that everybody around campus is really into it. Yep, uh, yesterday we had our Think Pink Day on campus. Everybody wore pink, teachers, professors, students, just a whole team picture. At uh, noon we took a team picture. Um, everybody wore their pink outfits. Just was a great event yesterday. Now what about that walk or run that I heard about? <laughs> Tell me a little bit about that and the competitive nature of that whole deal. <laughs> Earlier this year we did a walk at the Altoona Mall and um, coach decided halfway through that we were going to win the walk. So it kind of turned into a little bit more of a run against the uh, cancer survivors but it was a fun event. Um, we broke sweat, and then luckily we had practice right after, so we didn't really have to warm up much. We were already ready to go. Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> now, speaking of competitive nature, uh, you are one of the top all-time three-point shooters in program history, and by the time you're done, you may be number one. How, how much would that mean to you to have a record like that at, at a program that has such a, a legendary history? Uh, I think that would be a great deal. Um, I'd be very proud of that. St. Francis is a great school. We've had a lot of great people come through, a lot of great shooters also. So. Being up with the names of Stacy Alexander, Sammy Allison would just be a great honor. Let's talk about that for a second. When you decided to come here some years ago, how much a part of the tradition was was part of your decision? And now that you're rebuilding the tradition here, how proud does that make you? Well, we are very tight with our alumni. The alumni come back every day. Like last year when we were in the championship game, we had a lot of alumni come back. They allowed us letters and everything. So before I even signed, I knew what I was coming into. With the banners on the wall, just pretty much said it all. And so what do you guys need to do to get to that level again? You get another year after this. So <laughs> I, I know you're still building, but what do you need to do to, to get another banner? We need to keep up our competitive spirit and our intensity. We just need to have that will to drive and push through every weak moment that we have. We're a team, and basketball is a game of runs, so with that comes dry spots. And, you know, some losses will happen, but it's how we rebound from those losses that will make us a great team. Now, the uh, NEC Women's Tournament is coming up in just another week or so. I mean, it's going to be here before you know it. Uh, handicap it if you would. Uh, I know, obviously, you think you have a real good chance. I wouldn't blame you, you know, for feeling that way. But, but who are you kind of looking at as the team that you got to have to worry about? Well, each team in our conference is just great teams overall. Sacred Heart's a great team. We play them today, and it's, it's an honor to have them as our Think Bank Day and our senior day. They beat us last year in the tournament, so we're kind of a little, a little skeptical and want to come back at them and uh, definitely repay the, what they did to us. And then definitely want to come after Long Island, Robert Morris. Monmouth is making a great run this year with a young team. Each team in our conference can make make a win each day. It's the great uh, beauty of college basketball. With that kind of answer, you could run for governor. <laughs> yeah, may maybe politics in your future, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll, we'll get the litmus test today uh, here in the second half on how well they'll do against St. Francis. Allison Daly, thank you much, so much for your time. Best of luck. Thanks for having me.